In my third, fourth, and fifth year of medical school, I would switch up my diet to get in the shape for summer. After 12 weeks of successful dieting, I would find myself in a frustrating position where I've ticked all my boxes, I've dieted hard, tracked all my macros, stuck to my training plan, never missed a session, and I would dig deep with cardio, sometimes doing up to one hour of high intensity interval training. I'd find so many people with two times better results doing half the work which always left myself asking me why am I doing a lot more work, achieving less results? Was it my metabolism? Is my diet not on point or is my training off? In this video, I'll be talking about two major underrated variables that may be why you're skinny fat or just never able to lose that stubborn fat. But before we dive in, a lot of research and editing goes into making a video like this. Just do me one favor for the YouTube algorithm. If you wouldn't mind, gently hit the like button. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new. Let's kick it off. At this stage, we've heard the integral pieces of the puzzle of building muscle and losing fat, the diet, training, cardio and supplementation. But two integral pieces of the puzzle and possibly the biggest are undoubtedly the most painfully underrated variables that can impact your composition success on an enormous scale, sleep and stress. I cannot stress enough how vital sleep and stress is, all puns intended. Sleep, according to Webster, is made out of cycles of non-REM sleep and REM sleep and is usually considered essential to the restoration and recovery of vitally bodily and mental functions. It affects the function of almost every type of tissue and system in the body, ranging from the brain, the heart, lungs, and other organs, and nearly every physiological parameter, including your metabolism and immune function. A 2018 study by Wang and colleagues had a group of participants on a caloric restricted diet and they were separated into two groups, a control group who slept normal hours and one group that slept one hour less for five nights. The results were staggering. Both lost equal amounts of weight due to caloric restriction. But what was lost exactly is the integral part. The group that slept enough hours lost approximately 83% of fat and in completely inverse proportion the group that slept one hour less per day lost 85% of muscle mass. Subjects sleeping normally lost most of their weight as fat, while subjects sleeping poorly lost most of their weight as lean mass, including muscle. And all of this was just from one hour less per night, five days per week. In fairness, the participants weren't doing any resistance training. We can imagine that the participants would have retained a lot more muscle mass. This study is simply highlighting the importance of sleep and its essence in true body recomposition. It is in my own experience, if we truly want to achieve pure fat loss, we simply have to pay more attention to much more sleep and how much rest we're getting. Another study compared subjects getting either 8.5 hours of sleep or 5.5 hours of sleep per night while in a caloric deficit. Once again, the results, incredible. The 8.5 hour group lost 1.4 kgs of fat compared to the 0.6 kgs of fat lost from the 5.5 hour group. There was also a significant spike in ghrelin, also known as the hunger hormone. So sleeping less will not only negatively impact your body recomposition, but also make weight loss difficult, making you feel ravenously hungry at all times. I've experienced this myself. Through medical school, going through my extreme efforts in the gym to lose weight and not ever being able to get lean as I would like, this was a lot due to my sleep and recovery. This leads us to our next question. Why does sleep restriction cause such a high loss of muscle mass and little fat loss? The answer, higher cortisol, lower myostatin, lower testosterone, and lower IGF-1. Together, these processes result in a reduction in muscle protein synthesis and an increase in muscle protein breakdown. As you likely know, any one of these hormonal changes on their own would have potential to kill your gains. So combining all these changes can be truly detrimental. That being said, gains can still be made. Granted that your nutrition, training and supplementation is on point and great results can be made. 
These are transformations I've made myself with sleep restriction. This is given that I was going through medical school and this is me compared to ticking every box including sleep in 2019. I'm sure you can see the vast difference between the two. Apart from sleep, we know from personal experience, training takes a major hit being tired. Also, from my personal experience, I always perform better academically with enough sleep and also physically. But how much sleep do we need to build muscle and lose fat? According to the National Sleep Foundation, recommending seven to nine hours of sleep per night for young adults and adults seeking general health and well-being. Personally, I recommend anywhere from seven to eight hours of sleep adequately, provided enough rest for your body and recovery for your brain and proper function. To be clear, you can still achieve results with less sleep, but if we're in the game of optimization, you need to get in between seven and eight hours. That being said, there are things we can do to mitigate some of the effects of lack of sleep. Number one is naps. I recommend taking naps whenever you can, especially if you work at night shifts or having sleeping disorders. A 2009 paper by Milner and colleagues shows that taking naps can infer many benefits. Also, catching on some sleep on the weekends won't undo all the lack of sleep during the week, but it can provide a better result. I recommend finding a sleep routine, which includes switching your lights off one hour before you sleep and to stop using your phone screen 30 minutes before you sleep. Reading a book before bed has also shown it to be beneficial with a sleeping ritual. Early in the video, I mentioned stress. And in short, stress levels do no favors in helping with building muscle and losing fat. It is consistent in the literature that low stress levels are encouraged during this period. And an entire video can be done on this topic. A few tips I can give you is to do things that you find relaxing, like reading a book, listening to calming music, or going for a walk getting your exercise. Research has shown that low intensity exercise lowers cortisol levels. And while high intensity temporarily spikes it, it also causes physiological changes that help the body better deal with it and nullify the negative effects of stress. Sleep more, cut off alcohol, and finally cut off people that seem to bring you stress. In conclusion, sleep more is only to your benefit. In my first years of medical school, I had this work hard, hustle hard mentality. If you're sleeping too much, it's bad for you. That was one of my worst decisions. My best advice is sleeping more. You'll be more efficient at everything. Fat loss, studying, your life in general will be a lot better. I know sometimes you need to pay a price to be able to get a lot of things done, but I'll leave it there. If you did enjoy the video, smash with a huge thumbs up. I'll greatly appreciate it. I hope all of you guys are doing fine. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section down below. I will answer it. Watch this video here or the video here or subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.